Alright, what is going on guys? I'm your host, Jerron Spookable Gaming, and today we have an awesome video for y'all. This is going to be everything you need to know about the beautiful daylight sensor. So let's go ahead and get right into this. If you read the title, we are going to teach you everything you need to know and all the cool inventions you can make with the daylight sensor. Now, of course, I'm not going to show every single little thing you can make with it because there's tons of map making tools you can do. There's tons of lamps, all kinds of awesome things. Um, but I'm just going to show you most of the simple things, um, and I'm also going to show you everything you need to know about the daylight sensor. So first off, let's get into how to craft it. So first off, this is the crafting recipe for the daylight sensor. You're going to need three wooden slabs, three nether quartz, and three pieces of glass. So, And then that will give you a daylight sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. Now, of course, it can be any type of wooden planks, or not wooden planks, um, wooden slabs. It can be any type. It can be the... It doesn't have to be the oak wood, it can be the jungle wood, the birch wood, anything like that. So as you can see, I craft that and it gives me a simple daylight sensor just like that. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty sweet. So that is how you craft it in survival mode. Now if you're in creative, of course you can just pick it under the redstone tab and it will be right here under the redstone torture. So moving on here, let's go see and I'm going to go ahead and explain what does the daylight sensor do. So the daylight sensor is pretty simple, um, kind of explains itself. Um, whenever the day or the light or the sun is touching the sensor, it will activate redstone. So yeah, it's it's pretty simple. It's kind of self-explanatory. And this is a simple redstone line, um, and it's just simulating when the redstone is active. And over here we have a better design of it, just showing you the lamps right here. This is not a redstone lamp design. This is just showing you how the redstone works or how the daylight sensor works so for example if I were to set it to um, time set 1800 which would be night then all of them would all of the redstone lamps or the daylight sensor would turn off because it's night so there's no there's no light you know so the daylight sensor cannot be powered so if I were to set it to time set one which is like the very beginning of day kind of where the sun is just now rising up as you can see it powers only about half of the redstone because it doesn't have the full daylight because or it doesn't have the full sun like in its range because the sun is over there it's not directly above it so let's see if we can get the sun to be directly above it so time set let's try 5,000 maybe where's the sun okay the sun is almost directly above it and as you can see the redstone all the redstone lamps are completely powered so yeah so let's go ahead and demonstrate that again but without looking and moving around so if we go to time set one as you can see it powers like half of them time set 5000 that is going to go ahead and power all of them because the um the sun is right directly above the little um daylight sensor so yeah that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and move on to some little redstone inventions that i have made for y'all um, that are mainly useful for map making or survival mode or really whatever you want to do play around with them now There's of course going to be a plenty more in the future that people have created These are just some simple ones. They're the very basic ones and stuff like that So for example, this is a really simple one. These villagers are really getting annoying. I'm sorry <laughs> but um I'll show you all what's going on with the villagers in a sec, but yeah, so this is a really simple one This is going to be a simple trap system that can be used for map making So let's say you can put a little sign right here that says um, hmm, Come back at Day so for example why I said come back at day is if we go ahead and set the time to night this will open up right here which activates these daylight sensors will activate these pistons or actually deactivate these pistons and it will retract them so it will pull the stone bricks in and it will re reveal this lava thing so obviously you can just jump across this obviously but if you were, if you were to expand it out then the players could not come down here so pretend this is like a little hallway you know and like an adventure map and you have a little sign that says come back a day so for example let's set it today we're gonna go ahead and set it today and as you can see it closes so now you can cross this area so pretty cool so let's go ahead and remove this and just show you how this works simply it's a really simple device like I said most of these devices are gonna be really simple and basically so basically the daylight sensors just like we showed you over here it's basically the same concept but it's with pistons and repeaters and sticky pistons stuff like that so let's go ahead and set it to night for example the daylight sensors will turn off it will retract the pistons and it will reveal this lava so if we set it to day 
the day or the sun will activate the daylight sensor which will turn on the redstone activating the pistons pushing them forward and pushing the stone bricks in place so you can walk across this path um, it's really simple it might sound confusing but I'm just like explaining the whole entire thing it's it's really simple and yeah so moving on here let's go ahead and do something else which is used with dispensers and these dispensers are filled with villagers so for example let's say um, at this type of day or at this type or at day if you want in your map or I don't know whatever you're gonna use this for if you want it to spawn villagers then you can do that at a certain period of time so if we were to time set to 18,000 or 18 18,000 which is night then that will retract the redstone block and it will not activate this redstone so if we set it today again um, the daylight sensor will activate the redstone pushing the piston in place with the redstone block and it will activate all these things and it will spawn these villagers so for example maybe um, for map making purposes if you wanted to only have the villagers available at day like you can only tr trade with the villagers at day not at night then you could do that right here so yeah that would be a pretty cool idea moving on here with the last redstone invention that we have today this is going to be the redstone lamp and how these work are basically they only work at night or they only turn on at night so for example at as you can see at daytime you're not going to need any redstone lamps because why would you need redstone lamps at night or day so for example we can go ahead and time set 1800 which is going to be night and it will turn on the redstone lamps which is pretty cool and now these are all the things you're going to need to make the redstone lamp you're just going to need a daylight sensor a red block of redstone which is crafted the same way that diamond gold iron and emerald blocks are crafted you're going to need a redstone lamp and you're going to need a sticky piston and i do not have a sticky piston i'm going to go ahead and grab one right now and now you're going to need um some type of blocks if you want to kind of conceal all the red redstone you do not need these blocks you do not have to have them but if you'd like to conceal the redstone and you like you don't want to see it then you'll have to do that so let me go ahead and show y'all simply how to make this so let's go ahead and build something up real quick because you're going to need something for because you can't just randomly set a piston there so you're going to set the piston right there you're going to close that off and then simply you're going to set a daylight sensor right there you're going to put a block of redstone right there as you can see works perfectly and then you're going to set all your redstone lamps around the sensor just like that and that is it that's it too that's that's all you have as you can see it activates just like the other ones and if we go ahead and turn it to day as you can see how that works is the redstone block will go down and it will not activate the redstone lamps because the redstone lamps will only activate when the redstone block is touching it for example just like that um, as you can see at night the daylight sensor will not be activated it will pull in the redstone block and it will touch all the redstone lamps and then there you go it will not be activated so time set 5000 as you can see it pushes it back out and they're not activated now then to simply like close the design or whatever you can just simply put blocks around it you know and get a little creative with it and there you go you have a beautiful redstone lamp and yeah I'm not gonna finish it off but moving on here here's another awesome invention you can do I just built I just built this simple house and as you can see there's my pretty villager and as you can see this is just for a house this is just an example of some of the things you can do with the redstone lamp instead of just setting it in this like simple faction or whatever you want to say you can also set them around your house so this is the exact same concept except I just removed one of the layers um, it's just three instead of like all around so if we go ahead and set it to night as you can see it of course activates the redstone and now your house is probably going to be protected from zombies and stuff like that because your house is lighted and zombies will not come or spawn if light is around it so that is going to do it for this redstone tutorial for daylight sensors i hope you enjoyed this video i'm unspeakable gaming and if you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like show some support subscribe if you already haven't because i will really enjoy that and check out my other videos because i definitely do work hard on all my videos and there's a whole bunch of villagers over there due to those spawning and stuff and if you would like to see me do more of these redstone and tutorials on the new version of minecraft 1.5 go ahead and give it a thumbs up and that will show me your support and 
like show me that I want to make more videos. So yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm Unspeakable Gaming, and I will see you guys later. Peace.